New technology has enabled three disabled musicians from Edinburgh to take centre stage in an orchestral piece to celebrate the Olympics. They'll perform a work by a Scots composer which was commissioned to highlight special instruments which are giving people with disabilities greater access to mainstream music groups, as Joanne McCauley reports. It sounds like a bass, but there are no strings in sight. Anthony Swift is playing the sound beam, an invisible sensor which responds to his hand movements. Anthony has cerebral palsy, so holding a conventional instrument is tricky, but this allows him to be a soloist in an orchestra. When I was wee, all I wanted to do was play an instrument. And it's just so amazing to actually get an opportunity to show people what I can be actually be capable of. 17-year-old Chris Jackwin uses brain fingers. This special headband responds to clicks in his jaw to play music from his computer. And the skoog, played by 17-year-old Stephanie Forrest, is an instrument invented in Edinburgh. Stephanie is playing several very beautiful clarinet solos using the skoog to, to play that melody. And um, as she squeezes harder, the notes get louder, and as she squeezes more softly, it's, it's a softer sound. So basically it's a very expressive instrument. But there's hardly any music written for these instruments, so as part of the Olympic celebrations, Scots composer Oliver Searle was commissioned to come up with Technophonia. Part of this project for me was actually trying to write music specifically for these, so you come away saying, well, this is a skoog piece, if you like. This is a piece for sound beam and uh, chamber ensemble, uh, or this is a piece for brain fingers. The musicians will play Technophonia at London's South Bank Centre, along with other pieces commissioned to celebrate the Olympic Games. They hope to pave the way for skoogs, sound beams and brain fingers to become regulars in bands and orchestras. Joanne McCauley reporting Scotland, Edinburgh.